So a hometown is um, is basically a song about my coming out experience. Um, you know, I grew up in a, a small town uh, just right outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I come from a pretty strict uh, conservative Southern Baptist family. And um, being gay was basically the worst thing that you could do. Um, and uh, so when I came out at 22, uh, my family didn't respond very well, which I knew they wouldn't. There was this, you know, this kind of support system that I had known my whole life just like immediately evaporated. Um, and it, and it, like you would expect, it did this very long lasting, you know, damage to me. And I had to spend a lot of time, you know, trying to figure out how to wade through that as an adult. It was really hard for me, but on the flip side, you know, we're a decade past that now. Um, you know, I, I look back and it, I felt very thankful for all of the experiences that I had, even though they were very hard because they made me who I am and that's somebody that I'm really proud of. And so I wanted to write something that was reflective of that idea um, because um, I'm really proud of where I come from and uh, I'm really proud of the crazy road that I took to get here um, and that's where hometown came from. I don't think I was ready for it, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, because, I mean, I, you know, I was just making music, you know, and telling my story. And, um, you know, it's one of the great things about country music, right? Um, you know, we tell stories and people find themselves in it. You know, there are so many people like me um, who are LGBTQ who love country music, but we don't hear our stories. Um, and uh, so I think when this song came out, you know, there was this, this like sense of relief to say, Finally, there's somebody that understands all of this thing, all of these things that I went through um, and, and how important they are and how hurtful they were. So we've gotten just, uh, you know, a range of responses from, you know, simple thank yous to watching this video with my mother. I finally got the apology that I never thought I would get. And, uh, you know, it's, it's somehow bringing people together. Um, in a good way, and I, I feel very grateful for that.